The race to the future has already begun. And right now, no country is running faster than China. From self-driving cars to humanoid robots, from drone deliveries to the world's fastest trains, China is quietly rewriting the rules of innovation. But one question drives this story. Can China surpass America? Welcome to Shenzhen, once a small fishing village, now the beating heart of China's technology revolution. This city is home to BYD, short for Build Your Dreams, the world's largest electric car manufacturer. Founded in 1995 as a battery startup, BYD now builds over 4 million electric vehicles each year, outpacing even Tesla in sales. The company's blade battery is safer, cheaper, and lasts longer than most lithium batteries. It's the edge that pushed China to the front of the EV race. Here, cars are built by robots, one every minute. And just outside the factory gates, innovation continues. In Shenzhen, you can pay with your palm, order coffee by drone, or summon a driverless taxi that parks itself. The future isn't coming. It's already here. Welcome to Shenzhen. Once a small fishing village, now the beating heart of China's technology revolution. This city is home to BYD, short for Build Your Dreams, the world's largest electric car manufacturer. Founded in 1995 as a battery startup, BYD now builds over 4 million electric vehicles each year, outpacing even Tesla in sales. A few hundred miles north lies Hangzhou, one of China's most beautiful cities, and one of its smartest. Behind the historic streets and UNESCO-listed West Lake sits a lab shaping the next era of robotics, Unitree Robotics. This is the Unitree G1, one of the world's most advanced humanoid robots. It can balance, dance, even perform martial arts, all thanks to highly flexible joints and AI-powered motion control. Once a dream for researchers, now anyone can buy one for around $16,000. It's designed for schools, labs, and even curious tech enthusiasts. They call it a glimpse into the year 2050, a future where robots aren't just tools, but companions. A few hundred miles north lies Hangzhou, one of China's most beautiful cities, and one of its smartest. Next, we arrive in Shanghai, the financial capital of China and a city that never slows down. From the airport to downtown, the Maglev train reaches 431 kilometers per hour, making it one of the fastest in the world. Shanghai is a living symbol of China's ambition, a skyline of glass and steel built to rival any Western metropolis. But beyond the lights lies something deeper, a nation built on speed, precision and scale. Next, we arrive in Shanghai, the financial capital of China and a city that never slows down. In the northern province of Shandong, technology takes a human form. This is EX Robot, one of China's leading humanoid robot manufacturers. Here, engineers build robots that look, move and even feel human. Their skin is made of medical-grade silicone, their movements powered by artificial intelligence. Each face is modeled from real people, precise down to every pore and muscle. Their realism is almost unsettling. These humanoids are being designed for hospitals, schools and public services, even tourism. The goal? To have robots assisting the elderly, performing operations and teaching in classrooms. And soon these robots will build other robots. Machines that never rest, never tire and never stop. Factories that run 24 hours a day, powered by AI. It's a vision both inspiring and frightening. A glimpse into a future where humans may no longer be at the center of creation. While the rest of the world was caught in wars and political conflict, China moved quietly. Investing in infrastructure, AI and green technology. Step by step, the nation built not just products, but an entire ecosystem of innovation. Once mocked by competitors, China's engineers now lead in fields from electric mobility to robotics and AI research. 
As BYD surpasses Tesla and humanoids come to life in Shandong, one truth becomes clear. China is no longer chasing the future. It's building it. History has seen empires rise and fade. Britain, America. But today, the balance of power may be shifting once again. The question is no longer if China will lead, but when.